Greetings historians and welcome back to House of Ideas Historian. Death and rebirth are two constant parts of comic books. It's always there and it's always happened. And a lot of times, I like seeing my character back in action. But not all the time. There are some times when I think it would have been better if that character just stayed dead. So, for you, here are my top five times I think it would have been better if a character had stayed dead. Here we go. The old saying is simple. The only comic characters that stay dead are Bucky Barnes, Jason Todd, and Uncle Ben. Well, in 2005, things changed. Jason Todd came back as Red Hood and James Buchanan Barnes came back as the Winter Soldier. This reappearance was artfully done, beautifully written by Ed Brubacher. Just genius. Bucky's return to comics was amazing and gave us new story narratives. After Steve Rogers' death, Bucky picked up the shield and gave us the best version of Captain America to date. Then came fear itself. In pitch battle with Scotty, Bucky lost the good fight, paying the ultimate sacrifice. And that's the way it should have ended. In 2012, however, it's revealed that instead of dying, Bucky was injected with the Infinity Formula. Same stuff that keeps Nick Fury from aging. He went on to do some spy stuff, and then after Original Sin, he went on to do some more spy stuff. Overall, just not the same. After the legendary return of Who the Hell is Bucky, this return was just not that impactful and then lessen the stakes of fear itself. There's no denying it, Wolverine is a popular character. One of the most popular. In the early 2010 decade, he was a very busy man, finding himself in a plethora of lines and headmastering his own school. Reaching a point where it was actually a bit unseemly how many books he was in. Well, this was all corrected. Enter Death of Wolverine. This storyline in 2014 detailed what we thought was impossible. And just like that, Wolverine was gone disappeared from every line he was starring in, but the world kept spinning, and we needed in our lives. So X-23 came along and took up where her father left off as Wolverine. Laura did a great job, but eventually the world of comic books just can't be stopped. In 2017, we start to see the mutterings of the return of Wolverine. I have nothing against this character, but with the hype associated with his departure and the passing of a mantle, I would have been okay seeing Wolverine stay gone. Thor Odinson is a titan of the genre. He is huge right now with Chris Hemsworth's portrayal and he is one of Marvel's oldest characters, finding his first appearance all the way back into Journey into the Mystery number 83 in 1962. Being a Norse god, Thor is made of hardier stuff. There's not much out there that can kill him, but we've seen it done. Let's take a look at Fear Itself in 2011. This is one of my favorite events, I mentioned that in this video right here. If you haven't watched it, go ahead and take a look. The world is about to be consumed with fear, the serpent growing stronger and stronger. The god of fear was almost unstoppable. That was until Thor stepped in. 
Thor was able to stop him with the help of the Odin sword. But at the cost of his life, this was a noble death and should have meant something. However, there was a very short turnaround of only eight months until Thor was back and running around the universe. I do not think that Thor would have actually stayed dead at all. But with such a short turnaround, it makes fear itself feel as if there is almost no consequence to the event. If he had stayed dead a little bit longer, at least a year, it would have felt more impactful. Have you ever heard the story of the boy who cried wolf? Well, when it comes to comic book deaths and then retcons, there are a few individuals that have seemed to just keep worming their way back to life. Charles Xavier has been killed in comics countless times and always seems to be fine just after. Again, I know this is comic books, but there reaches a point when it simply doesn't feel impactful anymore. Oh no, Xavier is dead, I wonder what's going to happen. Well, in 2012, as part of the massive Avengers vs. X-Men storyline, we see Professor X die one more time, this time at the hands of the Phoenix-powered Scott Summers. And for a time, it felt like this might stick. For one, Red Skull took Professor X's brain. But, once again, just like one of those clowns that you punch and bops right back up again, we find Xavier amongst the living in 2017 in the Astonishing X-Men storyline. Let us set the scene. It's 2007. The Civil War had just ended. We see Captain America in chains after his surrender during the final battle when he realized he was putting his ideologies above the people that he swore to protect. Reading Captain America number 25, we see Captain America in cuffs when out of nowhere we hear gunfire. Captain America is dead. This death was huge. The world, the real world, was shocked. This book topped the sales chart for the month of March in 2007. ABC News even reported about his death. A legendary story that concludes with Bucky Barnes picking up the shield because the world needs a Captain America. And for me, that's where it should have ended. But in 2009, we see a new limited series run, Captain America Reborn. This story weaves a tale that ultimately leads to Captain America, Steve Rogers' Captain America, coming back to life in the 616 universe. Now don't get me wrong, I like Captain America. I like Captain America as much as the next guy. But I think it would have been a better way of doing things if Captain America was turned into a title. Was turned into Steve Rogers' legacy, but not the man. We see this when Bucky Barnes picks up the shield and was an amazing Captain America. And when the world needed him, Sam Willison stepped up and picked up the shield as well. Seeing both of these things just reinforces my idea that the world does need Captain America. But Captain America does not need to be Steve Rogers. And that's what we got for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love doing this. and I hope you love watching it. So let me know what you think about this list. Is there someone else that maybe should have stayed dead that I didn't think about? Or did I just commit absolute sacrilege for saying Captain America should have stayed dead? I don't know. That's what you're here for. As always, guys, you've got my socials, Facebook, Instagram, and as of this week, Twitter. There's the comments below and emails in the description box. Let me know what you think. 
as a little bit of a teaser for what I've got coming up next. I <laughs> Look what I got in the mail today. We've got another what's in the box coming at you. And I'm going to be doing a video about the passing of the torch a couple times when someone else picked up the mantle. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you guys so much for watching and excelsior true believers. Till next time.